Ghanaians of a uh, middle class level were getting very angry with this IMF comparison. Your IMF is better than my IMF. And all. Yeah, so we, we can understand that. These are not times to be throwing rhetoric at citizens. No, it's not, it's not, that's, not, that's not good. These are times when citizens are looking for food. They're looking to balance their own budget. They're looking to, to reduce the, um, the basket of goods that come into their home and how inflation is just rising and rising. So that's what the government must focus on. And I'm delighted that the government is insisting on focusing on that, focusing on delivering the people out of this whole IMF situation. And today, letters have come out from the Ministry of Finance that, that indicate that they are already making projections as to when they leave the IMF. Tomorrow is the beginning of the meetings. But I looked at it and I said, people are not interested in this IMF and IMF thing. What do we do to build a society? How do we build a society? And it struck me because the Archbishop had told me about the way we are going, and we have been talking about winner takes all for the longest time. We have been looking for constitutional amendment that changes the winner takes all. A lot of some people are not listening to us. A lot of people are listening to us, and and we'll go on with the crusade. But when I heard this tape uh, from the minority, then you cannot blame minority directly. You can't blame him. Uh, but when I heard the tape from him, it told me something about what we need to do as a country away from MPP and DC conversation, away from IMF. Let's look at it. So this is a tape that will we'll play the tape for you. So Minority Leader was talking to some NDC people who I think were asking for a bit more activity and action from the minority in Parliament. And these are the words he used. Okay, so here it says, Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu has intimated that NDC MPs in Parliament deliberately frustrated and blocked the Akufuado administration from achieving its revenue targets. Okay, so that's the first paragraph. Is politics not about a competition of ideas? That's what we were told. The politics about the competition of ideas. This is your idea. My idea is better. I sell the idea to the people. They elect me. I show them that my idea was better. They give me a second term. I show them my idea is better. They give me a third term. They get tired with me. They come back to you, and then they listen to you if you are good. If they listen to you and you are not good, then you will stay in opposition for a long time. Like Margaret Thatcher, she ruled Britain from 1978 up to 1992. Like the Republican Party in America, they ruled the United States from 1980 up to 1992. Because every time they went to the American people, their solutions and projections and prognosis sounded better to the American people than the Democrats. And the American people were going to continue to vote for them. So they voted for the Republicans three terms, two terms Reagan, one term Bush. They voted for them like that. And Bush was Reagan's vice president, by the way. So they voted for Reagan two terms and voted for Bush. They voted for Margaret Thatcher for 10, year, 10 years. They voted for Tony Blair for 10 years. Because that's how people are. We want to listen. So we believe that politics is about competition of ideas. But read the first paragraph again. Minority leader Haruna Idris, who has intimated that the NDC and MPs in parliament deliberately frustrated and blocked the Akufuado administration from achieving his revenue target. In a clandestine meeting held with some disgruntled supporters of the opposition party, Haruna Idrisu, in an audio, implored the supporters of the NDC to rather commend them for putting impediments in the way of Akufuado's administration in its revenue-generating efforts, including e-levy. This minority, uh, this is quoting Haruna Idrisu. He says, Honorable Haruna Idrisu, minority leader. He says, this minority succeeded in reducing e-levy from 1.75 to 1.50. I mean, when they came, the intention was 1.75. There were many other activities that would have been captured by E-Levy. They have abandoned it thanks to the opposition and our constructive criticism of the policy in order to be able to improve it, including remittances, he said. He continued, emphasizing that blocking government from achieving its revenue targets, leading to a loss of half of the revenue expressed, expected from E-Levy, is an achievement that the minority MPs must be commended for. Quote him again. Even more importantly, government has already lost half-year revenue of whatever it anticipated from E-Levy. That can only be attributed to the purpose and tenacity of the minority group in parliament. You may be dissatisfied with us. We just took a legal step which probably may not satisfy you. Okay. This audio, which has since gone viral, is a testament to the fact that the minority stiff opposition to the passage of E-Levy bill was not without malice. It was a well-planned plot to ensure that government was denied the needed resources to undertake its planned projects and execute its numerous programs. This, in the long run, goes a long way to affecting the development paradigm of the country 
as same loud, loudly sends out the message that the NDC does not have uh, the well-being. Well, I mean, that's the writer's view of that. It says the NDC does not have the well-being of Ghanaians. That's not our view. We don't think so. Uh, but the writer says so. We, we, it's, not, it's not our view, okay? All right. Let's, let's move on there. So that's it. We're going to play you the tape of Harun Idris. But before then, let me remind you of what the Archbishop told me three years ago. Something I thought had not happened here. Something I thought was far-fetched. Here is the Archbishop. What we are doing right now, we are not going anywhere. We because are not. watch this, I'm telling you. What we are doing right now, I want you to stand. Let me show you something. Just stand. If I'm in opposition, just mm -hmm. face this way. If yeah. I'm in opposition mm -hmm. and you are in office, mm -hmm. I hold your leg like that. Mm -hmm. Try to move. Yeah. Try to move. I try. cannot move. Try. Try to do something. Mm -hmm. You are not going anywhere. Yeah. I will make sure I circumvent you and mm -hmm. sabotage you until you leave office. Wow. And when you also come, same thing. I will also do the same to you. So I don't wish you well, you don't wish me well. So the nation is bleeding. Ach. The nation is bleeding. When the Archbishop told me that, I thought it's far fetched. But if you read some of the things that are here, and you cannot blame Idris Haruna for it, he's doing his work. That is what has become the work of the opposition, each opposition, from what the Archbishop says. That's what seems to have become the work. So that derailing a government policy is not the same as uh, competing uh, on ideas intellectually, which is what government is supposed to do. Your idea, my idea. We compete intellectually. I'm better than you. You're better than me. We go to the people and then they decide. We don't say that, let me check what you are doing and lay ambush and make sure I destroy what you want to do. You've got to dream up a policy. Okay, you need the numbers. We'll see. I'll destroy it. And if the speaker tries to vote and go and say, I'll come and take the chair and beat him up. That's what we're doing. That's really what we're doing. And that's what is the story, part of the story of E. Levy. Very, very sad. Let's hear the tape itself. Let's hear Idris Haruna's voice. Let's hear it. This minority succeeded in reducing E. Levy from 1.75 to 1.50. I mean, when they came, their intention was 1.75. There were many other activities that would have been captured by e -Levy. They've abandoned it thanks to the opposition and our constructive uh, criticisms of the policy in order to be able to improve it, including remittances. And even more importantly, government have already lost half-year revenue of whatever it anticipated from e -Levy. That can only be attributed to purpose and tenacity of a minority group in parliament. You may be dissatisfied with us. We just took a legal step. I'm quite interested in what the NDC supporters were dis dissatisfied with. Because in the tape, the Honorable Minority Leader said, you may be dissatisfied with us. So I'm really wondering what they were dissatisfied with. Okay, so let's, let's be careful about these young people. Let's begin to think through our situation, think through the, the laws that we have, the constitutional amendments and all of that, and decide on how we can remove this kind of politics from our political system. Because the way it is, sometimes it is compelled. It's not so much that the person wants to do that, but it's, a, it's compelled because you have a winner takes all. Then you have a hung parliament and then they go and take the chair because they want to make sure that the government doesn't succeed. If the government succeeds because the government has generated good ideas, they will lose the election. They are, it's clear. Everybody knows that. If you allow the government to succeed because they have a better idea, they will, you will lose the election. So the, the, the call is not that that's the government's good idea. Let's also get a good idea. Good idea, good idea makes the society better. That's why Archbishop said the country is bleeding. Those who are not interested in ideas, that that is your, e is your idea. I have a better idea. And sell it to Ghanaians that he's charging you E-Levy. And look, this is what I will do. Instead of E-Levy, I will do X, Y, Z. I will still raise the revenue. It will be karma on you. The food prices will not go up. So vote for me. Voting is a competition of ideas. It's not a competition of Kwekwanansi type style of undermining. That's the Kwekwanansi one that we ask our children to stop listening to. You can still do quick one answer, but present him in a positive light. You see, the way they presented quick one answer in a fraudulent light, defrauding by false pretenses, we don't like that. So that kind of quick one answer thing, it's not great politics, it's bad politics for our society. It is a competition of ideas. And those of you on Facebook, young people, insist that this is a competition of ideas. We don't want you to come and tell us that I threw the chair away, I beat the speaker up so that he couldn't vote. We want you to come and tell us that I had Ken Oferata speak. But what he said, I have a better idea. This is what Oferata said, this is what I'm saying. And I will achieve the same thing better. So you should elect me. And the people would elect you. But this kind of politics. <laughs>